Areas across Tulsa, homeless camps are popping up and some residents are concerned. We spoke to one of them near 51st and Peoria, not only about the homeless presence there, but also the safety of her neighborhood. Two News Oklahoma reporter Jeanette Quesada talked to the city and housing solutions about what's being done. The city is working with housing solutions of Tulsa and says they're trying to address the issue, but it's not a simple solution. Is that the black and white cat they're looking for? Linda Anderson has lived near 51st in Peoria for nearly 30 years. She knows her neighbors. They're always there to lend each other a hand. We're just a nice, quiet family around here. Everybody knows everybody. But recently, she's noticed a difference. More and more of the city's homeless in the neighborhood. The business moved out. They broke out all the, biz all the windows in that business. The, the, home, the owners come along and boarded up all of the windows. It's not only dirty in front, but it's dirty behind. Just somebody needs to come help us. Linda says she's seen the homeless downtown, but never this close to her home. Several times I've had to wait for the homeless people pushing their buggies. She says she's concerned about her safety and that of her neighbors. People that don't have a home. They scare me. You don't know where they came from. Excuse me. You don't know where they came from. So you don't know, are they gonna hurt you or are they not gonna hurt you? Anderson says she's called the city asking if someone could come and ask them to move. We need some help. The homeless people are gathering together up in this strip mall that we have and it is they're building homes out of cardboard. The city is working with Housing Solutions Tulsa. According to the latest data, there are more than 1,000 people experiencing homelessness, about 500 of them unsheltered. Tyler Perrette with Housing Solutions says solving the problem is not that simple. The experience of homelessness is an experience of trauma every single day and so you know, forcing people to just move to another location in town, it doesn't do anything to help their situation and it actually just prolongs their experience of homelessness. Perrette says a lack of available housing also contributes to the problem. Just for March of 2022, uh, 97 people were placed into permanent housing. Um, but what you can also see up here is that 277 people were new to homelessness in Tulsa County. So we're, we're seeing more people experiencing homelessness because of eviction and uh, lack of affordable housing than we can house in any given month. He says Tulsa City Council has funded outreach and shelter initiatives, but he says there is still more collaboration to be done. Meanwhile, Anderson is waiting for answers, hoping to see something change soon. But she assured me something would be done. Perrette says the city recently hired a new affordable housing policy director. He expects to see new strategies from the city moving forward to increase affordable housing. In studio, Janet Quesada, Tunis, Oklahoma.